Yeah, I'm in my bed. It's Del K. Barrett, and this is The Real Spiel, and it's New Year's Eve. And I don't need to get up. But I got a lot to say. Mm, mm, mm. I got, I got tea and biscuits this morning. Let's start talking about other folk, though. Andrew Tate. Mm. Now, I don't know how many of us in our community follow Andrew Tate. Quite outspoken. And um, to be honest with you, a lot of stuff that brother says I agree with. A whole lot of stuff he says I agree with. I can't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie and say I don't agree with a lot of stuff he says. I don't think he's a misogynist. Um, I think he has some strong opinions about um, historical relationships. Has he said some stuff that's outlandish? Absolutely. Would I want my daughter to date him? Absolutely not. <laughs> But anyway, that's not what I'm even talking about with him. We know what's happened with that boy. So apparently, for those who don't know, he's a very outspoken ex-kickboxer who has said some misogynistic, this is what they say, some misogynistic things on social media and he's been banned from YouTube, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The boy is cashing out because every time he speaks, he goes viral, cashes out. He's social media fodder for a million views. And he has some very strong things to say about women, about relationships, and um, he's not very nice about how he says it a lot of times. He's not unintelligent. Um, he's definitely a conspiracy theorist, but this is why he's in the news now, and this is why he's trending very strong. Um, apparently, himself and his brother, and apparently some other brother too, but they, who they didn't really mention because he's not on the forefront of people's lips like Mr. Tate is. Uh, they were communicating with some young ladies while they lived in Romania. These young ladies lived in the UK. And, you know, in fashion of, of, of what is normal and normative of the day, these guys are quite, quite wealthy. Um, these young ladies got flown out for a romantic interlude. Um, the police in Romania... I think they refer to it as uh, the the boyfriend the boyfriend move or something to that extent. Essentially, where you you know interact with a young lady on social media, and after a while, um, you know you start talking like you want to be in a relationship with her, you want to be committed, and then you fly her out. So they did that. They flew out a couple of girls apparently, and when they got to Romania, the allegation the allegation is that these gentlemen um, entice them and the word specifically criminally exploited them to engage in um, some kind of I don't know, I guess you I guess you would call it some type of only fans type of life where they were essentially making videos posting the videos etc cetera, etc cetera, probably for financial return clearly which these young ladies never saw so they claim also that when they were when they wanted to go home that the tape boys wouldn't let them go home and they were held hostage and kept and forced to continue doing what they were doing um at this time no sexual allegations directly were put forth and uh these young ladies said they were kidnapped so the Romanian police apparently charged these guys and released them, and the case continued. Now, prior to that, or since that in April, um, Tate's been saying, you know, this is how guys go down. They you know, they trump you up with a fake charge. You know, you die, you disappear, all kinds of stuff. So he's been alluding to this kind of stuff. Now, apparently the police have been doing more investigations. And apart from those two ladies, I think six other women have come forward saying yes same thing happened to them not only that one of them claims that they were actually sexually assaulted oh boy the plot thickens so the romanian police now um they want to recharge these guys but these fellas are you know they're doing social ops in, in uh in the uk the crime took place in romania so nobody in the UK is going to lay hands on them. So apparently these young fellows come back in town. They go back to their home country of Romania. And uh, 
there's two silly a silly rumor is that you know he orders a pizza and the Romanian police trace him through a pizza but that's just stupid you come into a country you got a passport it's going to trigger you know if there's a warrant out for your arrest it's going to trigger all kinds of Interpol and other things so it had nothing to do with the damn pizza I don't know why people say nonsense like that they say yeah he saw him eating pizza and they knew he was back they were back they knew that guy was back the second he got off the plane they knew he was back so they set up their their task force they take these guys down like you know like they were arresting international criminals they got a lot of weapons and guns in their house so they take these fellas down they're in jail and they got bailed out the same day so that's really the whole dog of the story but the story you know stems into the, the 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 bizarre where it's like how are these guys so rich driving bugattis and things like that and they have to convince women to to do these lewd sex acts and they have to and they're individuals who are causing women to be sexually exploited okay this is where my commentary begins you know it's really difficult these days i think being um a man being a wealthy man and uh, being an outspoken wealthy man. Now, these guys, are, of course, are going to be looking for female company, right? They're going to be looking for women to, you know, check them out. They're going to be dating women like anybody else. They're going to be, they're going to have much more resources than most guys. And they're going to have the capacity to make women feel very good about themselves. I apologize for, for, for yawning, but it's the morning. And I'm afraid none of you ninjas, I'm just waking up. So, you know... Put yourself in their position, guys. You're Andrew Tate, right? You're this outspoken social media guy. You're good looking, you know, good looking white fella from Romania. Got money, you know, prestige, bravado. And you're looking for women that you like. Women are coming in your DMs, and you kind of get your choice. Your your choice is the matter. And, you know, you flying them in. You got the money to do so, you flying them in. That's normal. For me, though, how did they get into this? How did they get into this sexual exploitation thing? Do they did they want these girls to to make money for them? OnlyFans, like what? I was just thinking about that, you know. And I was like, well, how does this thing work out? You know, and Batgirl kind of brings it to my attention. Batgirl says, "No, listen to me." This is what Batgirl told me. She's like, "Listen, this guy, although he's banned." He can generate money on social media. He knows that's his that's his that's his cash cow. He's finding ways to generate social media money in every way possible. He probably told these girls, let's generate money on social media, you know, using their sexuality and whatnot. He never paid them. I was like, you know what, Batgirl? That makes a whole lot of doggone sense. But then they throw in the sexual the sexual assault stuff now. That is now what makes it very, very, very messy. You know, in the long run, I can't put my neck on the line for Andrew Tate. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's up to. I don't know what little shenanigans he's going on in Romania. But I don't know if he has a sex dungeon in Romania. I don't know what he's doing. I just know out in these streets that these young ladies these days, you can't give them. You, you listen, you can't, you can't play around with these ladies. You can't mess around with them, buddy. Hey, these one put you in jail pretty quick. I can't play. No, you, no. I, I, these ladies put you in jail pretty quick. And, you know, these days, you got to be a damn fool to think that you can do something to a grown woman and, and not come back to haunt you in some way, shape, or form. You know, I don't know what Andrew has done. His brother has done. I'm not, I'm not saying nothing. I got no opinion on the matter. The whole thing sounds very fishy to me. Sounds very fishy to me. And, and, you know, you, you flying, you flying to see a man. That's not. That is not. That's not kidnapping. That that part's not kidnapping. But they say, well, we couldn't go home. They wouldn't let us leave. Whew. Well, girl, did you have a you have a, a ticket? Like, how, like, did, did the Uber service wasn't working? Like, what what was happening? Like, you know. The CCTVs and Andrew Tate's house said, listen, you can go check the CCTVs. These girls could have left any time they wanted. Any time they wanted to leave, they could have left. Check the CCTVs. I don't know if the Romanian police have done so. I'm assuming they have. And I'm assuming the other allegations put this thing in a position where it's like, hey, where the smoke is fire, and we're going to collect these tape boys. Now they out. 
they're out and and Andrew Tate who was banned from uh he was banned from Twitter but Elon Musk put him back on and he's he's posting every day God will God will free us and you know he's a Christian and you know he's saying all kind of stuff so he said the matrix is coming for him all kind of stuff let me tell you something I'm going to talk to us brothers. There's no black man that doesn't know. You cannot fly no snow bunnies across international borders and keep them held in your house. That is not something we do. <laughs> oh, Lord, no. We, nah. mm -mm. we are not fine Becky the Negro Slayer from the UK to the Caribbean to, 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 to America to Alabama to Toronto, Montreal or Vancouver... Halifax, we ain't flying them over and putting ourselves in any kind of problem. We ain't doing that. We are not doing that. We are not doing that. Them girls will scream foul the second. Oh, Lord. Mm -mm. We ain't playing with y'all. We are not playing with y'all. No, not over international borders. Absolutely not. And this is my thing. This is my thing for Mr. Tate. Romanian women are, are very beautiful. You got to fly in some yellow teeth girls from your UK. I, no, no disrespect to the to the to the Caucasian girls in UK. I remember in college there was a young lady from from the UK, and uh, she liked me. You know, she came. She was an international student, and uh, she was going to school in my school in America. And you know, blonde girl, nice young lady. But I just just something a little off about her. I was like, what is it off about about Becky from the UK? And, Becky from the UK, her teeth were a little bit, you know, they weren't exactly white. She didn't have that Colgate smile, right? And I felt I should bring it up. And she said, you know what? This I, I kid you not. Yeah, we don't really brush our teeth a lot in the UK. I was like, oh, Lord, have mercy. I, she, holy, holy halitosis. I was just like, yeah, Becky, she was nice. But it, for me, for me, that that was it for me. That was it for me. I kind of, I kind of had to go back to I went back to the Latins and, and, the, and the sisters, you know, after that situation. But I, I just feel that there's so many beautiful women in Rom like Romanian women, Romanian women, Russian women, Czechoslovakian women. These are some pretty. These are some pretty white ladies. These Swedish women, you know, those those white women look good. You don't need to fly somebody over from the UK. Them people ain't getting a lot of sun and stuff out there. <laughs> you don't need to fly. You got you got these Nordic Viking women. Out over there, Andrew Tate, and you you just bringing in these chicks from the UK, man. Because I know these Romanian women wouldn't let you keep them hostage for five seconds in their house. Five seconds. Them Romanian girls, them big old 12, size 12 feet Romanian girls would just kicked in the door and, you know, put you in a headlock, you know, do some jujitsu on you and got out that house. But them UK girls, I don't know. I don't know, Mr. Tate. It's a tough one over here. I'm just glad it's not us. That's That's all I got to say. I'm glad it's not us. Glad it has nothing to do with our community. I I feel a lot of empathy for him, you know. And 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 if these young ladies truly were held hostage in his house, well, you know, I guess justice is being served. Um, but this day and age, it's pretty difficult to pull that off. And 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 all you young ladies who are looking to be flown out, you fly out chicks. Let me talk to you last. I'm getting off right now. Ain't nothing free, baby. Now, yeah, ain't nothing free. Nobody's flying you out just because you're that cute girl on Instagram. Come on, man. Stop it. Stop it. Listen. Get get a discount hotel rate on Expedia. Stop making men fly you out somewhere and pre pretending like there's not an expectation. There's going to be an expectation, okay? And I don't want to hear. Well, you have daughters. What if somebody flew your daughter out? And and no, my daughters are not that stupid. No, neither am I. That I'm going to let somebody fly my child out that they've never met in another country, and they're going to stay with them in their house. I don't care what kind of superstar they are. I don't care who they are. I don't care who they are. All right. And second, and first, and second, did somebody fly you out? If you you know you want these people that you're going to take a chance. You know you want to risk it all for romance. If they fly you out, make sure you get your return ticket. Make sure you're staying in your own hotel, right? Make sure your transportation is arranged. Make sure you're close to the airport, right? 
Make sure your father, your brother, your uncle talks to that man who's flying you out. Make sure he gets his information. You want to fly my daughter out? Send me your driver's license. No problem. Send me your driver's license. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm going to mail you a letter. I'm going to mail you a letter. I'd like you to sign the letter and mail it back to me. Once that cut, once all that happens, I'm going to know you live there. I need your phone number. I'm going to call the local police station. Hey, it's how my daughter's coming out here. Who's this man out here? Listen, I'm, I'm going to do I'm gonna do a whole CPIC, whole CPIC and Interpol on you. I'd like you to fill out this form right here. Let me just do a background check on you, sir. All right. Well, it seems like the background check is fine. Um, yeah, yeah, you go, she, she, oh, she can't come by herself. No, 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 no. She got to come out there. She coming out there with one of, one of, one of her ugly, one of her ugly cousins. Yep. Big birth of the one with the hairy underarms who ain't never been able to get a man. She, uh, she, she has a, she has a, a thyroid problem. She's six foot nine, 272 pounds. She coming with you. She coming with you. She going to be, a, listen, man, I, I ain't, I don't understand ladies. Y'all, y'all doing, y'all doing too much. Y'all doing too much. Y'all making too much money to be just making dudes fly you out there just to take pictures of the dinners and, and pictures of yourself on a plane. And you know, the, the guy's never in the picture anyway. I bet you these girls, when they flew out to see Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate was not in their picture, not in their picture, but apparently he had y'all on Instagram and had y'all on porn chat. No, yeah. Anyway, that's a lot. Again. I'm just glad it's not us. This is Del K. Burton. This is the real spiel. Um, that ain't the life that we should be living. That 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 we ain't trying to live that life. You you sisters, stop this whole fl letting men fly you out. Listen, Hilton Honors. Uh, you know, get yourself get yourself some kind of you know travel miles or some air miles. Get do something. But you, you we don't need that. You don't need that in your life, man. You don't need, get yourself your own man. Fly out with him. But you got Andrew, you got the Andrew Tates of the world flying you all over the world, and then you want to call Andrew Tate, say that Andrew Tate is a human trafficker. Lord. Okay. I don't know what to think. I really don't know what to think. Let the chips fall where they may. It's none of my business. It's in Romania. All right. I'm gonna talk to y'all soon. This is New Year's Eve. I got plans. Okay, I'll be back. I'll talk to you soon. Andrew Tate, man, I hope you didn't do it, bro. I hope you didn't do it.